A film about the fictional assassination of the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will not be released in America after threats against cinemas which planned to show it. U.S. government sources say they're now convinced North Korea is responsible for a cyber attack on the film's makers, Sony Pictures. But there has been criticism of the decision to pull the film by some, both in Washington and Hollywood, who say Pyongyang has been allowed to win. Nick Thatcher has the latest. It's the movie release the world is talking about, even if for now, no one will be able to see it. Take him out. Take him out. Like for drinks? The interview no, no, no. is supposed Take to be a comedy film, out. albeit Take one about a plot to kill North Korea's leader. But following serious threats to the safety of cinema goers, its release has been cancelled. You want us to assassinate the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? It follows a cyber attack on Sony Pictures that saw hackers seize control of computer systems and leak data and emails. The warning then issued online reminding Americans of the 9-11 attacks was the final straw. When the threats became not just about the um, people within the company, but seemed like it could really affect just the general public, I, I think that this is now no longer a funny joke for them. But Sony's decision to pull the plug has prompted a backlash online. Actor Rob Lowe tweeted, Wow, everyone caved. The hackers won. An utter and complete victory for them. Ben Stiller wrote, Really hard to believe this is the response to a threat to freedom of expression here in America. Barack Obama has stressed the hack is very serious, but he hoped people wouldn't be put off going to the movies. You know, we'll be vigilant. If we see something that we uh, think is serious and credible, uh, then we'll alert the public. Uh, but for now, uh, my recommendation would be that uh, people go to the movies. The film may well be offensive to North Korea's leader, but the suggestion this hack could have been state-sponsored has alarmed cyber experts here. We don't want other countries to be looking at this, or groups, and seeing okay, if we launch a very successful cyber attack on a company, we can actually cause films to be pulled, we can affect freedom of speech. Sony says it's deeply saddened at what it calls a brazen effort to suppress the distribution of a movie. But what's happened to the company in recent days may prove more surreal than anything it hoped to show on screen. Nick Thatcher, ITV News. The health secretary has denied he is trying to...